Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Litchfield Mosquito Control District meeting of September 17th, 2015. I'm Chairman John Latcher. To my left is Acting Vice Chairman Al Raccio. I'd like to thank Anthony DeMambro for doing our camera tonight. Let's all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Chair will call the roll. Uh, Acting Vice Chair, uh, Mr. Raccio. Present. And I'm here. All members are present. Next on the agenda is public input. Uh, before public input, I'd just like to state for the record that this meeting was posted here at Town Hall and at the Town Library. Public input. Any members of the public wishing to speak? Seeing and hearing none, uh, just a word about public input. If you have any questions or concerns about the Litchfield Mosquito Control District, uh, you can come down. We're here on, on the third Thursday of the month at 7 p.m. If you have any additional questions, you can call 424-4046 and ask for the health officer, Kevin Lynch. Okay. Approval of the minutes of August 29th, 2015. I'm sorry, August 20th, 2015. Mr. Chairman, I've read the minutes, uh, have uh, made a couple of minor corrections. I'd like to make a motion to uh, approve the minutes as amended. Okay, I'll second it. Discussion? Uh, just now we'll clean up the minor adjustments and uh, uh, press through. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 2-0. Uh, next on the agenda is invoice number 1044. That invoice has been paid, from what I understand. Yes, Mr. Chairman, a couple of, couple of comments regarding... Uh, uh, Which is consistent this, with that. Right, right. The, uh, mm -hmm. the invoice. Mm -hmm. uh, as we're approaching the end of the season, uh, typically we would be making requests for the, uh, uh, to, to the uh, uh, Michael Morrison and the Mosquito Test uh, management services for the end of the year summaries and reports as we prepare for the uh, inputs to the town report, the annual town report. Right. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a recommendation that uh, we officially request uh, this information from Michael mm -hmm. uh, and his team uh, in preparation of that event. Also, uh, I have not had an opportunity to review the upcoming 2015-2016 uh, contract from okay. Michael. Okay, I have, uh, some, I have some information yeah. on that later on. I would like an opportunity to review that prior to submitting to the uh, town for uh, a recommendation on updates. Okay, I have some information about that um, from Jason um, later, a little bit later in, in the meeting here. So. So you know. Uh, just one one adjustment on the invoice. I asked the uh, the health officer Kevin Lynch to notify Municipal Pest Management Services to change the town administrator portion of the bill from Jason Hulk to Troy Brown. So that's, that's the new town administrator. And why wouldn't we attend to that ourselves? That's typically in our. Uh, well, purview to, to maintain the. Well, the health officer is, is is has been in charge of the some of the paperwork uh, in regards to billing and stuff like that. That, uh, and I just notified him of that to, to try to change that. So it's going to be Troy Brown, town administrator. <clears throat> Okay, you all set with that? Yep. All right, next on the agenda is Mosquito District uh, budget. Um, 
I contacted uh, Jason Hoke at the time uh, and asked him if uh, that told him that we voted to add $150 for local advertising. Um, and that would also be added with the, uh, you know, on a line item with the contracted services. Um, Jason uh, contacted me again later on, a few days later, and he told me that he did add that in. He added the $150? Yes, in. right. I've added under general supplies, but with the note of advertising and general information. Okay, I'm I'm still a little curious about uh, the Mosquito Control District Committee and Board has not reviewed the 2015-2016 uh, proposed contract okay. for the upcoming season. Okay, I'm going to get to that. Okay. Just a minute. Yep. So the $150 has been added uh, that we voted on, so... Right. So this is added. Right. Which uh, we may be approaching the board uh, in other business. I have a couple of uh, issues I'd like to bring up that may be uh, would not have needed to go to the board of selectmen or the town administrator uh, if we had this budget already in place. Uh, next on the agenda is the Municipal Pest Management Services Contract 2016. Jason Hoke, the Town Administrator, spoke with uh, Steve Freeman from Municipal Pest Management Services, and he told Jason that next year's contract price will remain the same as this year's. Same services. I, I, I respect the fact that uh, Jason got that. However, it is our duty and our charter to review the services provided in that contract, update, amend, or append to those services. There's a couple of issues that we need to discuss yes. and possibly adjust those contract line items uh, for specific services based on the trends of the past nine years. I'm a little bit um, perturbed that the board, our board, has not taken the initiative to get the contract, open the negotiations and discussions, and make our submittals like we have consistently for the past nine years. Mm -hmm. There's no reason that this board should not have direct input to those terms, conditions of service, and not payment structures or how it gets done, well, but it, it's our charter to make sure that that is concise, complete, and accurate for the dollars that we're spending. Well, the, serv the services, as, as Jason stated, was the services are, are the same as in this year's contract. Right. The same barrier applications, the same uh, 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 treating of the uh, catch basins. Everything is pretty much the same as it was However, previous years. Right. Our, our I mean, indices and indicators are showing declines and increases in certain populations and areas. I would propose that it's incumbent upon this board to review those applicable services, not whether we're going to treat catch basins or we're going to uh, continue our current course of action. But once again, we need to review and discuss alterations to those monthly invoices as far as services for dollars rendered, John. Right. I understand what you're saying, but uh, I don't want to undercut us either. I mean, I want to... Well, if I mean, we can save money, John... Yeah, if we could it's, save it, money, it, but we're, we're just as compelled to do that. Well, right? I'm, I'm I'm under the impression if if Jason, who's the, who was the town administrator here, obviously he discuss, had a discussion with this gentleman, Steve Freeman, who's from Municipal Pest Management Services, and and uh, 
he said, he t I'm sure he just didn't talk about just, you know, the basic, hey, you're going to raise the price next year or not. I mean, I'm sure there was may possibly maybe some other discussions. And uh, Jason, you know, Jason just contacted me and told me that it was going to be the same price as, as, uh, as, as it was uh, this year. Right. So, that that which, doesn't which is make consistent. a recommendation from this board that makes a, a statement from our chairman well, that status quo without the board reviewing it. I, I, well, I understand thing, where you're at. Yeah, but the thing is, I, I'm, I'm, the thing is, though, is that, I mean, we've been doing this for nine years now. We know pretty much what the contract is going to entail. I know that you've talked about populations and things that have been going down. That's 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 a true statement, but. Um, so maybe it's, we it's, want it's, to it's adjust. a fluid it's a fluid situation whereas we don't want to be we don't want to be too frugal where we're going to jeopardize public safety. I'm not talking about but, reduction John. I'm talking about balancing what we're spending. This let's use the road agent for example. Every year he buys salt. Every year he does not buy the same amount of salt. Every year he buys asphalt and cold patch. Not every year is that and, ratio the same. Right. And, there's some, and we are you know, no it's different. It's a guessing game. Yeah. We're no guessing. different. Right. And the fact that that something as as primary to the function of this board that the board has not reviewed or discussed is is. Um, I've said well, my like, piece. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna well, let it go because it it's done. No, it's no, done. It's not, and, because and the thing is, is that in previous years we had basically the same thing. The same thing was done pre uh, previous years too, that I can recall. Th that's that, a true statement because right. nobody took the time to make the analysis and do the correlations. You asked questions. Kevin asked questions. I did the homework. Yeah, but and, we don't. And I wanted we, an opportunity to adjust the statements, or at least present it to you and the board for consideration. That's not going to happen now. Well, well, if, if, because Jason already made a commitment to the contract, did he not? Right. So, in effect, for still, this year, and there, we're done. And there is still time that. Uh, that we can still change it. Well, I mean, the budget a budget hasn't obviously been put in yet. No, but there all. has been a verbal commitment already made, John, and I respect that. Right. Well, we can so, we can go uh, we can uh, have it uh, as a technicality. Next year, no. When, I mean, when we can have going, it as a technicality too. Jason's when, not here anymore. He spoke for the town, whether he's here or not, John. He spoke for the town. Well, and, and, and you could say that about the, the, the police union contract. Well, those selectmen aren't here, and Jason's not here. Is well, that contract null and void? The, the thing is, is the, the, the part of it that I don't really like is, is, that, is that you're kind of implying that I'm spending taxpayers' money for no I, reason. I, I'm not, what I'm implying, John, is we dropped the ball on protocol and etiquette regarding our one I budget believe, item. I don't believe we did at all. Uh, well, I mean, I, we I, don't have any minutes documented that the budget and the contract review, the budget we talked about, but the contract review that we talk about every year, and this board enters into every year and makes a recommendation to the town every year for nine years, did not happen this year. The, I, it, 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 it's, it's done. I'm 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 finished with it, John. Well, my my person my opinion with it is that seeing that I've been doing it for nine years, is that Jason I contacted Jason, Jason contacted Stephen Freeman from Municipal. Asked him, what is the price going to be for next year? Did he ask the him how the labor breakdown? You know how we have at least 12 well, we agenda can, items, John? We, we can, so my, that's that's my the whole point. Thing, my whole thing with that is, is he said that the contract was going to be the same price. Okay, that's a starting point. Okay, we can, like I just said, we can always change the contract. I mean, we can always change the stuff in the contract if we want to. 
we still have time to do that the budget committee hasn't finalized everybody's budget that i know of yet so we still have that time and we could do that on our next meeting on october on october 15th if, so if where, that's what where's the contract if that's what where's you want the to proposal do. i can get the proposal for you if you want to go over well, at the next <laughs> meeting i've got nine years of records and i've got eight proposals okay so if you have the records issue well show not me the not last, in in this notebook show me the but last, i will show me the last few years that i will we, john we, uh, 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 the minutes that we've approved the contract that uh that municipal pest management approved and said that they were they were going to uh keep i'll, I'll show you the documents john all right show them yeah. to me show them to me i just don't this is my feeling about the whole thing is that I, I know you want to go over that contract. That's fine, okay? Line by line, if you want to do that. We've already done that in the past. We have gone line from line. Every line has basically been the same. In fact, municipal pest management actually did a number of things that we asked them to try to add on to the program, which they did on many occasions. They didn't have to. They could have charged just even more money. Okay, which would have made even uh, the contract even more expensive. Okay, they did all those things for us for free. Okay, I'm not right. disputing, I'm, I, I, John. Right. That's I know, not the right. technicality. Right, I know. Right? I know that's what you're saying. I know. I know that isn't what you're saying. But I'm just saying that. And what I'm also saying is, is that okay? Where would you cut in the contract? Tell me. I didn't tell me right say now. Say cut, John. Yeah, yeah, but, I said readjust. What does Maybe that mean? we I don't, don't want that to what do that all the catch basins this year Why because not? of drought. Why not? Because it's unnecessary. Maybe we want to do more well, swamp. Well, was right. It, you mean over the last nine years it wasn't necessary, but we were no. doing it anyway. Did you do the analysis? You asked the question this year, John, to municipal, and they gave you the answer. Right. Right. Just a couple of weeks ago. Right. So with that knowledge, last meeting I told you I would take a look at the trending and report back to you. Well, I, right? I, well, you it's just, you unaware just, that, yeah, but, that it, the it, budget it, and the contract had already been negotiated. Yeah, but you just said that you were going to you were possibly going to cut catch base and uh, lava. I said as an example, as an example, well, John, and redirect it. Well, give me another I, example of where you would cut then. For wouldn't what, cut, re, John, John. Don't get hung up on cut. Reallocate services. That sounds to me like a cut. No, no, it's not. Okay, what does it mean? So if if what does it mean? Example: catch basins are dry. They're right. bone dry. Right. They the have cattailed swamp area is saturated. The test mechanism shows that hey take the effort from the catch basins and apply it to the cattail swamp but that's beef it up but do it twice a month not that's once a, a month that's a fluid situation that's like a, a that's spur why of the we moment review thing. the contract every year yeah but what do we do we do we put something aside and say hey it's going to rain so, next month so we're going to change the contract again no how, how are we going to do no, that how are we no. going to do that if we haven't got everything, right. if we haven't got money and, and, and documentation for every single thing in the Mosquito Control District, catch basins, uh, swamps, whatever they do, you know, all those subjects, if we haven't got all our bases covered, okay, then we're going to be in trouble, all right? We're not going to sit here and say, okay, it's dry, but uh, guess what? Over there, over on uh, Albuquerque, over there, it's getting really bad. So. Know what we're going to do? We're going to move all our services over there and focus on that. And then for this it, year, then that may be applicable, for, John. For two weeks, then we're going to say, "Oh my God!" Now we just spent all the money over there. Now we're going to be chasing catch basins. You know, I mean, the contract has been the same, basically the same for almost nine right. years. Catch basins, uh, uh, barrier applications, everything has been the same. And just like I said, I contacted Jason Holt who is the town administrator, the head of this town, to talk to Steve Freeman. Of He's not the head of the town. State. The position, right. John, is, is not the head does of the every, town. Does everybody, at, does everybody right. in town answer to the town administrator? No. In one form or another. Or another? 
We answer to the Board of Selectmen, period. The town administrator is appointed by the Board of Selectmen as their agent. Well, he's a... So, to, we can play with words yeah, all night. I don't want to yeah, do that. But, you know, However, <laughs> this committee should have the opportunity to review the pertinent items that governs it, John. That's all. Well, we could just pull yeah, out the that, contract that, from this all. year, and I can drop it on the table over here, and you can read it, and then we can make the adjustments. And we can talk time. about it. Yeah, sure, right. We can make, you can do that if that's what you yeah. want to do. But well, I mean, I, I did, the thing is, is I didn't huh. hear anything from you over the, I mean, it's September now. I didn't hear anything from you over the course of the last several months saying that, hey, hey, John, we, we, there's a good possibility that we might conserve the contract a little bit. Instead of paying $30,000 a year, we're only, only going to pay fifteen. I never heard I, anything I, I like that. I never inferred that and never would infer that, John. Well, that's what I'm getting. Right? That's the, you, you, that's you're getting, getting hung up on the word cut. It's reallocate. Well, it's right. understanding right. Move our the services. services to somewhere where you're going to need it most. I understand that's all. that. Right. I understand that. But or you know what? add services, but you know what? John. That would be or, a first. That would well, be a first since I've been here. D does okay. does three wrongs because, because not still make a right? The thing is, do is, we not the, adjust and move forward? The thing is, is that municipal pest management services, if there was that place where there was uh, a bad situation, they would go over there and do it anyway, regardless of how much it would cost anyway. So we really don't have to screw around with the contract at all. Okay. That, that, that's that's one man's opinion, John. No, that's, that's no, that's it's okay. Right, that's that's one man's opinion. That's okay. What's next, are big you, guy? I, I just wonder, are you upset because I called, I contacted Jason Hope to talk to the uh, to talk to Steve Freeman? Is that is I'm, that what this is all about, or what's no, going on with this? No. Thing? I'm upset because for nine, for eight years, yeah. this board reviewed it and made the recommendation to the board and Jason in previous years to accept the contract as, as written. This year, we didn't do that. That's what I'm upset about, John. Not about Jason or the town administrator, the fact that we departed from our normal standard course of action. That's something we've done forever. No. Oh, okay. You, you can show me the minutes then. Show me the minutes. Show me the minutes from last time, and I'll get up here and I'll apologize to everybody out in Litchfield. Okay. Let's see the minutes. I want to see the minutes on the meeting of October fifteenth that says that we reviewed the contract and we made all kinds of adjustments to try to save a penny from taxpayer money. I, you you okay? keep you keep saying try to save a penny. We've made the the. the I'll get you the, the evidence I can I can show you where we've discussed it, John. And, and we, voted, was it and, voted on? Too? Oh yes. Okay. Absolutely. Right, show me that. Show me. I'd like to Absolutely. see. Absolutely. Several times we voted to submit the contract to the town with a positive recommendation. Was that was that at the, the, the first few years or was it uh, Well, I'm not gonna split hairs with you. No. I'm just but saying. Every well, year saying, we do that. You're saying that every it was consistent. year we do that. Yep. You're saying that it was consistent every year. So I'd like to look at the minutes from uh, 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 when we started in 2006 till right now, and uh, I want to see the minutes every single uh, time around budget time, and I want to see if we consistently did that, because I can I can tell you right now that we didn't. Uh, then I'll stand corrected. <clears throat> All right. Uh, anything else on the contract? Nope. Okay, next is LCTV coverage of district meetings. <clears throat> or the lack thereof. The lack thereof. Uh, this is just something that I wanted to bring to the board's attention uh, on LCTV 22. We had uh, on the program schedule, we have Board of Selectmen meetings of 827. Planning board meetings, recreation committee meetings of 825, and uh, our mosquito district meeting, our last mosquito district meeting, was on August 20th. Problem is, is that the mosquito district meeting is not on the regular schedule, 
And this isn't the first time that this has happened, okay? This has happened on numerous occasions, okay? So, in fact, so numerous that I actually made a real point, okay, about this to the chairman of the cable committee, and he played it 24 hours a day on channel 20, 21, and 22, okay? So, if this has happened on numerous occasions, okay, where we're getting pulled out of the regular schedule, okay? All I'm saying is give us just as much airtime as everybody else is getting, okay? Because we're not getting it, all right? I don't care if you put us on once in December or January or February, but at the prime time of the Mosquito District, I would like to tell people out in the town, if there's Triple E out there, okay, West Nile virus going on out there, I want them to be notified, okay? And this is the only way that we can really notify them. We, have, we can put something in the HLN or whatever, we could do that. But this is a good way that we can notify the public. And we're not getting that notification out there if we're not on the air. And I ask the chairman of the cable committee to put us back on, okay? August 20th. That's all I have. In addition to that, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a recommendation that we craft a letter to the Board of Selectmen infoing the new town administrator and directed to the cable committee requesting and recommending an air cycle time and schedule annually in which we can, we can put together the recommendations and put them forward with an emphasis on the prime mosquito season, which as you so accurately point out, is now. Yeah. Now is the time we need 20 or 30 rotations a week to keep the public informed. Right. December, January, February, when we're watching meetings from four prior months and rotating dead air time is not the time. So, Mr. Chairman, with that, uh, I will put together a, a, a memo and a schedule. We can brief it at our next meeting, and if you concur and the board votes to move it forward, we can. Right. Between now and then, I would recommend that we contact the town administrator, we notify the board of selectmen, and directly contact the cable committee to request higher priority of our meeting rotations to no less than eight times a week with four of those being during what's considered prime airtime at least for the balance of september and october in that fashion we will address the problem immediately and next month propose an annual rotational schedule get that concurrence from the board of selectmen and the administrator and make it a directive to the cable committee from the management of the town as you pointed out earlier if that's okay with you sir i will put it together send it to you okay. and uh Sounds we'll good. Yep. Move forward on guess we have to lack of it, coverage. We have to put in, put in, we have to put in writing now. I guess. Well, that's okay. <clears throat> writing is then there's no ambiguities, no I forgots, and if you do, then you you you, you well, basically answer to the town administration. Well, I was looking on Channel 22, and they have uh, two board of selectmen meetings, two planning yep. board meetings, a recreation committee meeting, and they can't fit the mosquito control meeting in there. Okay, that's an issue, and it has to be resolved. And we'll and make you know, an attempt to do of, that. I really am sick and tired of, of, state, of sitting here and telling them year after year after year to just get it right, okay? Just get it right. You seem, everybody seems to get everybody else's business on the air and out to the public, okay? Uh, I don't know what the problem is here, but uh, I hope it gets addressed soon. Okay, next is the uh, bat box. We hope to get that up soon, as I told you at the last meeting. It's in the works. Uh, Joan McGibbon sent me this picture of, of the 
of the bat box that we have that's that's going to look like ours uh, it's at uh, Squam Lakes uh, Science Center so just just for your information it's pretty much the way that the uh, it would look yeah you know, with the pole and stuff. yep okay <clears throat> any additional about the bat box Alan no uh, mosquito asset request. Um, just like to talk a little bit about that. Um, as you know, we we originally at the first, I hate going over this again, but we're going to go over it again. The first year we had uh, a computer in the budget, <clears throat> which was approved. Um, later on down the road, we. Uh, I guess you could say that we lost the computer. Not we lost the computer. Uh, the computer wasn't available to us as on a regular basis. Am I correct, Al? The computer was <clears throat> reallocated town assets. Right. Is the language that was used. Right. Um, and I know that you would you're talking about maybe doing a PowerPoint presentation or whatever, or we could do stuff on the on the TV screen here at Town Hall. Um, uh, Selectman Brunell told me that uh, any time that we do need a computer, um, he's more than willing to help us uh, to to set it up for us uh, before our meetings, and we can use we, you know the town computer and we can use it on our uh, TV screen here. If we have a PowerPoint presentation, uh, it will be set up for that as well. So um, he's more than willing to help us with that, and and I'm satisfied with that, and uh, and. Uh, just another thing of uh, everybody working together, uh, uh, you have some positive results. Yeah, well, in the past, when that was offered, on, on a number of occasions, the asset would not link to the town infrastructure, therefore you couldn't get to the internet, had lockdown features, and I know Mr. Burnell had uh, offered, and I, I say Mr. Burnell, as the technical officer and not the selectman uh, for the town. Uh, we did not resolve it. We returned the asset. Several years have gone by uh, and, and we're, you know, basically reduced still to uh, uh, utilizing home equipment, which, oh, by the way, there's a major uh, insurance company, you may have heard about them, MetLife. Uh, actually pays their employees a stipend of forty dollars a month that when they take their service phones or computers home to use their internet to use their home internet instead of their Verizon air cards so there's an example of a major industry much bigger than this town's budget that actually pays their employees and users of their equipment to subsidize internet connection services. Here, we don't even get the opportunity to have the equipment, let alone be subsidized, and we're being requested to use our own home. You can use the cloud and connect from your own utilities. And yet, we find ourselves having this discussion every year. Yeah, that's, that's why I've given up on this, as, because as as, the, the, the town does not recognize this committee is a public service. It's zero dollars to the taxpayer. And we're, we're, we're bringing pens and pencils and printing stuff from home, from your budget and my budget. So I mean, I, I'm not exactly a, a, a strong advocate of going back to the current administration, John, and asking them for the time of day. Because consistently what we've got is sundials, abacuses, and quills in response. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I wouldn't have even brought this up had you not reintroduced it, John. And that's why we don't have the analysis and the minutes that I could have answered quickly. And the analysis and trends of the past nine contracts to show you where we have adjusted them not decreased them, but adjusted the services. 
and, and it, it, it's the way we do business now, and I'm, I'm done with it. I can only so, do for the town what we can do, John. So if you'd like to do a, a, uh, a PowerPoint presentation, that, I mean, you, would, you wouldn't do it. Is that right or no? I mean, if, you were, if we had something up there that you were interested in putting up there, you, you just, you're just you just not going well, to what, what, How would I do it, John? <clears throat> I just told you that uh, John Burnell would leave the asset here. So John Burnell is going to leave an asset for me. I, I go to work at, 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 at 4 a.m. So at 2 a.m., John Burnell is going to leave an asset here for me to, to work as a volunteer. And I get out of work like you, 4, 4.30, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So, you know, that's a well, great gesture, John, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy that he's open-minded on that aspect. Well, I'm sure if you well, I'm sure if you got in contact with John that he'd be more than willing to help you. I mean... Uh, yeah, I help mean, would be help to the board, us, an asset that we can utilize that wouldn't cost the town pennies. And yet, we are where we are. And we actually had town approval for an asset, as you pointed out. So, no, I'm done. Um, the, the chairman, as chairman of this committee, John, uh, you can, if you get us assets to work with, I'll be glad to put the information together in, in presentation forms. If you're asking me to do the research on my own nickel, on my own internet services, on my own computers, my own software, and then provide it as a town service, I'm through doing that because the town doesn't recognize the fact that in today's world, companies actually pay their employees well, to do this, let alone ask them to do it for free. Well, about using your computer at home, I don't really have any problem with that because it is a, it is a secure uh, site. Uh, it's got town business on it. You have to okay. enter your password to get in, and it's very secure. I don't have so any problem, if the town have any wants problem to, using no. that. I mean, if the town wants to pay my Comcast internet bill so I can use their secure site, have at it. Then I'll use my own computer at home and create the reports, and I'll send it to the town. But fair, fair. Hey. So the town doesn't have to invest in my software infrastructure. They don't have to invest in my computer hardware, nor do they have to pay me time to do that because I already volunteer my time for this. But yeah. for me to pay them? <laughs> Come on, John. Come on. The thing is, is you know, <laughs> there's, there's many people on boards that, that do, the, you know, do the same thing. They use their own time. Yeah. And you know what? The, and, 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 and more power to them. If you make enough money to do that and subsidize the town of Litchfield, I'm happy for you. But I'm happy for you. But that's just the way that, you know, that everybody can. No, it's I mean, not the way everybody does it, John. That's what I'm telling you. Industry and business does not expect you to subsidize their company. What, or or the, why are they paying you a salary? Right? Anyway. It's a personal... Uh, right, yeah. Right. right. So, well, I just, uh, I just, uh, I'm I right just there with you. That, yeah, I'll I just, didn't ask to bring this up. I'll just leave you with that. Uh, John told me that he'd be more than willing to help us if we need any help. So. Yeah, we do. We need so an asset <clears throat> dedicated to the board. We've asked for it. If he wants to help uh, as the town's technical representative... He should make that recommendation to the Board of Selectmen and then abstain as Selectmen for voting a conflict of interest, right? And let the Board. Uh, and if the Board of Selectmen say no, hey, we're right back where we started, aren't we? Which is why I think it's a futile effort. Okay. Okay? <clears throat> yeah. Next, any other business? Uh I was going to move this actually on the agenda up a little bit, but this happened after I made the agenda. So uh, I got an email from uh, Health Officer Kevin Lynch. Uh, he got uh, a report that uh, Manchester tested positive for a uh, pool of uh, mosquitoes in, in Manchester, New Hampshire. Um, this is the first positive test in the whole state of New Hampshire this year. I thought we were going to have... Uh, zeros, but I guess not. Um, 
and this just leads into what I was talking about at our last meeting about this time of the year that we have to really watch, you know, we have to wear our uh, uh, mosquito spray that contains D. Uh, try to wear long sleeves if you can, if you can help it. Um, come in during the dawn hours when mosquito activity is, uh, is, at, is at its uh, most active time. Um, Al, you got anything to add to that? Yeah, Manchester, uh, I've seen the report on the, uh, the state website. Mm -hmm. uh, Manchester is a bordering community. Right. Uh, if it's in Manchester, there's no reason not to believe it's not uh, in very close proximity, if not already in our town borders. Uh, as you know, uh, these viruses are spread not only by mosquitoes, but birds as well. Ticks, mites, and everything else that comes in contact with them. This is why, when we had the discussion about the cable TV, rotation of these meetings is absolutely imperative during this high peak season. The illnesses, the diseases, it would be appalling if one of our citizens should catch this disease and claim they never saw any information from the Mosquito Control District warning them. I, I can't imagine the ramifications and legal ramifications to the town because we didn't properly uh, alert them when we have a committee, us, the, the Mosquito Control District, whose job in adjacent with Kevin Lynch, the health officer, to make aware of potential harmful diseases. So, it, it, you know, People all crying wolf, crying. That's okay. But when the wolf bites you, uh, mm -hmm. then, then we'll see all the naysayers and all you'll hear all the hoo-ha. Um, and, and, and obviously we're monitoring this uh, very closely, so just so everybody knows at home. We just... Yeah. Okay, do you have anything else for any other business, Al? Or? No, John. You don't have anything else? Nope. Okay, with that, I'd uh, like to make a motion to adjourn. So be it. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion passes 2-0. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the peak season. You can't take enough caution. Uh, although the odds, you know, you, you hear people talking about the odds and this, that, and the other thing. At the end of the day, it's your responsibility to look out for yourself. John has pointed out, we have pointed out, the health officer has pointed out, precaution, precaution, precaution. It's only a few months of the year that we really need heightened awareness. So the first frost, hot frost, right. anyway, yeah. And we are there now. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll see everybody at our next meeting on October 15th at 7 p.m. We'll see you next time, everybody. Have a great night. Bye-bye. October 15th.